So today we're celebrating the 150th year anniversary of the Michigan State Medical Society. 150 years of serving our community, serving our patients, serving our membership, um, being there for the health care needs of the people of Michigan and being an integral role of everyone's everyday life. And as we look at our history in this year and all the things that have been done, it's clear that when physicians came together, they made a big difference for communities and for health care and for individual patients as well. So it's a great moment to look back and then also to think about the future and how we um, help support all of the good work that needs to be done going forward. Medicine has such a rich history and we can look back at the outstanding individuals that have made such huge contributions to healthcare, not only in our state, but across our country and across the world. We are a very visible and strong advocate for patient health and well-being. That's really our purpose. I mean, for us, it's all about patients and it's all about their health. If we look back centuries, healers have always been important in every society. Some of the best and brightest students go into medicine to help take care of the people in our communities. And so that's not only our legacy, but that's our future. I think in 50 years from now, they're going to take a look back at these, you know, this four or five year period where there's sort of the development enhanced of the Affordable Care Act came into play. And that was a major change for healthcare in this country. Whether you agree with it or disagree with it, it's, it's a change. And I think they're going to look at it 50 years ago and see how much of the ACA really is in effect 50 years from now and how much of the ACA ever really went into effect. And all those initiatives that are contained within that legislation, I think what people are going to say is that the Medical Society really helped guide the specialty, our profession, through those rough waters. And I think that's what our legacy is going to be, that we did that successfully. In the future, that physicians will get more connected to the human side of medicine again. I think they've been pulled away from that to some degree because there are so many things that they have to um, meet in terms of demands and expectations. And there are so many things that they can do. There are more treatments, there are more drugs. Um, healthcare is more sophisticated and more technical than ever. Things are always changing. And I think it tells us that we have to be flexible and we have to be creative and we have to be willing to face change and be proactive about it. I'm really proud of the, the work that's been done collectively by a very engaged membership, a very committed leadership, and a really excellent professional staff. We want to have a good medical profession with high integrity and excellent training so that the people in our state can have the best health care possible. So I think it's that combined partnership between staff and leadership that really is the power of the organization. I believe in a democracy, everyone needs to tell their story for the best things to happen overall, and we're here to help them tell their story and, and get things done that are um, good for patients and good for communities.